All right, hey everybody, it's Dave with the Wild Wayne's. You may have seen me in a cooking show. I have a cooking show called uh, Instant Pot Dave with the Wild Wayne's. Uh, but today we're gonna be working on our hot water heater. Uh, we're getting ready to roll here pretty soon. We've been hunkered down in Escondido uh, for about a little over a year now. And um, we uh, swapped out the anode in our water heater and flushed it out about six months ago. So. We're gonna see what's left, a little experiment here. We're gonna get everything ready to go. So, water heater is on our driver's side of our, our fifth wheel trailer. We have a 2002 Lakota 32 foot uh, fifth wheel trailer. And so, this is an Atwood water heater from uh, 2002. So it's, it's a little bit dated and you can see that it's been worn. Um, you can see all of our controls here. We got our pressure release valve right here. Um, it'll let all the extra pressure out. And right now we have the water turned on and, and uh, running to get all the hot water flushed out of our water heater so we don't burn ourselves as we drain it. Uh, right here, you can see this is going to be where our anode is, or, or our drain plug. I'm going to swap that out. Let me see if I can get you a better view. This is everything that we're going to need to uh, wash out our hot water heater and replace our anode. Here's our anode. You can see it's uh, a little shorty. It's meant for Atwood water heaters. And it'll fit, it's not too long. Just a tiny little water heater. And I do have a little bit of plumber's tape. I'm gonna wrap a couple layers around the threads of this bolt. And we have a 21 millimeter socket wrench right here. And then we have the sprayer that we're gonna use to wash out the inside of our water heater. You'll be surprised how much stuff comes out. Let's start off by Turning off our power in our circuit breaker panel, find your water heater circuit breaker, and flip it off. And then we'll turn on our hot water to drain all the hot water from our water heater. Now we're going to go ahead and turn the water off here that goes to the trailer so that when we drain our hot water tank it doesn't keep on flowing. All right, um, here we go. So I'm just going to turn it off right at the source here. There we go. And you can see I have a, a splitter on here also. I could turn it off here, but uh, we're just going to turn it off at the, the main source there. You can see our drain plug right here, which is uh, attached to the anode. The anode slides into your, into your water heater right here. So we have our 21 millimeter socket. And we're gonna go ahead and break this loose and unscrew this. Now the water's gonna come out pretty quickly once it comes out here. Nice tight fit there, that's good. So I'd imagine there's some corrosion in there. Okay, so it's pretty loose. I can unscrew it by hand now. And that's a lot of water that comes out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put something to break the fall of the water so we don't dig a big hole with our flowing water. Oh. Wow, it is. You see that? It is completely corroded. And uh, the hole is completely sealed up with corrosion. <laughs> so I'm gonna break away that corrosion and hopefully water will flow right out. The best way to get this out is I can just kind of put my pick tool in there and hit it with a hammer a little bit, and a little shake. Little pieces are coming off, but it does look like that magnesium anode broke off. It was corroded to the, the threads. You can see I, I got enough out to where we're gonna get some water draining out. I'm gonna go ahead and put my driver screwdriver in there, flathead, and just spin it around, try to get little chunks off at a time. So we wanna get the whole thing out. We don't want a chunk floating around inside there. So it's flowing. Now it doesn't flow very good until you open up this breather valve, see? Now it's coming out. Open up that breather valve, air can come in and let the water out. And it'll let you know when it's done. So I got my little wire brush here. We'll see if I can get in just around the edges. Clean those threads in there. It doesn't really get inside the, the pipe, but 
I can get it in enough to get a lot of those threads and just clean the corrosion out. I'm gonna just show you. There it goes. Woo! Pretty good spray. Oh, that's gonna be what we wash the inside out with. And I'm just gonna push this in. Now it might get a little messy. Now we got it in there, I'm gonna turn it on. Now that's all just gonna flow out. You're gonna be amazed all the stuff that just comes out. And once it comes out clear, then we're done. And twist it around, get that sprayer to hit all the corners on the bottom, the sides. There you go. That's all just flowing right out now. Yeah, let's turn it off and I'll pull this out. We'll let it drain. There we go. It's a pretty milky white water coming out. All right, let's get back in there. Full pressure. Same thing, twist back and forth, get the sides all over the bottom. See if you can get the back wall. I read somewhere not to shoot straight up. I don't know what's in there straight up. I got the heating elements. I just kind of go back and forth, left to right, side to side, in and out. So you can see it is worth doing this often. So here's our anode. You can see it's metal threads and it goes into like a ceramic uh, threaded piece. The drain's gonna, I think it's made out of ceramic material. So I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, plumber's tape on here, just a couple of layers. Let's see if I put it on the correct way. It'll keep it on as you spin it through the thread. So I'm gonna use my finger to hold it on and shoop. There's about three layers here. So there we go, our threads are taped. Some Teflon tape here. Okay, let's give it a shot here. Let's put our new anode in there. We'll line it up. Slides right in with no problems. All right, let's get it threaded. Put this guy on there. And there we go. We got a little, little restriction here and there, but then it breaks free and it gets right in there. We're just kind of knocking the, oh, it feels nice and tight now. I'm gonna turn our water back on, fill this up. We're gonna leave this open so that the air comes out of here. As soon as water shoots out, we can close it. Our hot water tank will be full. Okay, everybody, we're gonna turn our water back on here. All right, you can hear the water is on, it's running. We're filling our six gallon water heater tank. So we'll just wait for the water to come out of our little breather. And once that happens, then we can shut it off. And remember, we turned the power off, so that hot coil that's inside this, that, that for the electric part of this, is off. So it's not heating up without water. Gotta make sure that uh, when you have your circuit breaker on to your electric portion of your water heater, that there's always water in your tank. Do we don't have, oh, here we go. So our tank is full, we're good to go. Okay, we're gonna turn our hot water on on the inside. We already have water to the faucet. So we're good. Turn that off. Now we're going to turn the power back on. So we're going to open up our circuit breaker box and our fuse panel. And right here, it's already off. Flip it on. Boom. And we're heating hot water now. Well, so that's it. That's all we have as far as uh, our water heater clean out and anode replacement. Not too hard. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. And then we'll see you next time. We're going to continue these episodes uh, whenever we have anything that needs to be repaired. I'm going to videotape it. I'm going to show you guys so you know exactly what we're going through and something to expect if you have to go through it too. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell. Get notified when we have another video out there for you to watch. I'm going to put links to everything used in this video in this video's description. You can click on it. And get it yourself. Thanks everybody. Take care of yourselves out there and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.